Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo. So you might see season three here. That's because as I record this, it's September. And um, ODST came out technically yesterday, but only because um, it's about six in the morning. I'm having another time where I'm like, man, I can't sleep. May as well record. Uh, which... I'm also uh, having a bad, my computer is doing a lot right now. I'm exporting a video and I'm also uploading three videos. <laughs> so I'm going to jump into Halo 3 ODST. Uh, I'm playing mouse and keyboard this time. What happens if I click missions? Does it actually go all the way through? No. Okay. Quick start. Let's, let's do normal. Okay. Just watching my audio here, making sure that everything sounds okay. Is this going to be a long story? So for those of you who watched Halo, well, the last four LPs, really, this is, uh, you know, stuff that you already know, but... This is where you're getting. The Covenant have burned our world, specifically Reach. Earth the Last Bastion, a carefully guarded secret. Um, I think I mentioned... Well, actually, I haven't recorded um, Halo 1 anymore. No, anymore, rather. Yeah, it takes place in Africa, which is kind of cool. But uh, the Cold Protocol it was designed to hide ships from seeing Earth. So this is uh, a game that takes place in between Halo 2 and 3, and it's, this is what happened on Earth. Uh, and we're currently pretty low on Spartans, because Master Chief has to be special, and Reach is a prequel, so they can't. So we're following ODSTs, who are, well, they're the best of the best. I like the I like the ellipses on the end there. Really just sucks the tension out of it. See, I've mentioned this in the past, but ODSTs are super badass, crazy motherfuckers. Who would be the best if not for Spartans? Navy put up a good fight. Of course they did. It's Earth. Let me turn this up. Better late than never. How about you show some respect, Romeo? Just saying, Dutch. They missed one. No. They left it for us. So, this is your squad, naturally. You know the music. Time to dance. Uh, Hello, beautiful. I don't Thoughts. like Buck. Now. I'll be honest. He's just... I know it's Nathan Fillion, guys. I'm aware of Nathan Fillion. This many years into the war? Who isn't? Good At line. At least they listen. To me. And they're not gonna like what they hear. Orders are orders. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. I'll pass on that dance. What's with the shading on his face? But you can't show me where to sit. Yeah, I know it's Nathan Fillion what playing the, the thing that Nathan wear? Fillion wears almost. I don't know, Mickey. I wasn't looking at her gear. Freakazoid. <laughs> Seriously? Well, it gotta be close quarters. Exactly. Second to last. Right next to mine. Cozy. You gonna tell us her name, Gunny? Ms. Naval Intelligence. Our new boss. Oh, so check your mouths, find your chairs, and get set for a combat truck. Yeah, he's just... What the hell am I supposed to do with this inside a Covenant ship? Hey, it's me. <sighs> Wake up, Buttercup. Dickhead. Relax, rookie. He don't mean nothing. Besides, now's one of those times. It pays to be the strong, silent type. All right, turning the audio back down. All right. 
So yeah, um, after pimping the ODSTs for how many games has it been? Four games at this at the time that this game came out. We're finally gonna do a drop. Hey, look, it's very clearly recon armor. I love how we still have static at this point in the future. We still can't fix that shit. So yeah, the OD is orbital drop. And yep, we're in orbit, and this is a beautiful back. opening. Baby got his butt kicked. Hey, Romeo, remember when I told you to shut your mouth? Yeah? Consider that a standing order. Consider that a standing order. Captain, this is off the deck. Stand by to adjust trajectory. What did he just say? This is beautiful. We're way off course. We're heading exactly where I need to go. But we're gonna miss the carrier! Radiation! Covenant just set off a nuke? No. The carrier's going to jump. It's a shot space rusting! You missed it! So you guys probably, assuming you saw it, you saw the slip space rupture in uh, Halo Reach as a thing we did to blow up a Covenant ship. Alright, so that's the intro. That's the first level, technically speaking. Um, I've been trying to get this fucking thing out of my head for a second here. But the thing about Nathan Fillion in this game is that he's playing the same role that he usually always plays. It's that same fucking Nathan Drake... Motherfucking Nolan North guy of like, hey, I'm kind of a D-bag, but I'm sarcastic and people think I'm funny. I'm basically main character and luckily he's not. I'm the main character and I'm the rookie. So what, what the fuck does that mean? I'm a new guy for the ODSTs and I don't really have much of a backstory. Which means that I can project myself into this character I'm controlling. And they also have a reason to explain things to me. Okay, settle in. So, I got hit. Pr it's pretty rough out there. Uh, yep. Luckily, the pod took most of it. Yes, I do like this. Your aiming has been set to non-freakazoid. Initiate emergency hatch release. So this is the thing that they do just to be like, can you point and click on things? I also like that it's got these like four separate things you have to click. It's like the, the, sh um, it's like the shutdown in Alien or the, the, the ship shelf destruct where like it takes fucking forever to regenerate, uh, to, to, not to regenerate, to get a ship to start to blow up and then it gives you like 20 minutes of warning. So Spartans have a, uh, Hey, this is Virgil. He gives me Metagel. So how do I... Four is visor. Okay, cool. So yeah, I played most of the game like this. But look at how much different this is. So, ODSTs are not Spartans. From the units of green. Enemies are red. Nah. So we're not Spartans. We're basically mortal humans. We're regular ass guys. And to reflect that, instead of the Magnum, which is not a Magnum, but they call it that, and the assault rifle, we have this tiny little sneaky pistol that makes a little pew pew when you shoot it. And this, the SMG. I love this gun. I love this thing. Um. It acts similar to the SMG. I think it actually is the same type of SMG in the normal Halo franchise. Halo series, I should say. Healthcare on demand. <laughs> Healthcare on demand. I like that. Um, but it just has a silencer added just to make it a little 
more stealthy because this at times can actually take on things of like a uh, stealth mission. So this is New Mombasa. It's a city in Africa. It's a big ass city too. UNSC equals liars. We're next. Yeah, the thing about aliens landing in your city is that people aren't usually pleased about it. And yeah, as you saw... Big fucking alien ship just landed here and dropped off a small army of dudes, so... Okay, Q is melee. That's good to know. So, sorry, I'm just getting back into this. Um, one of the reasons that I decided to play this game so far in advance was because I, I keep doing this thing where I, I'm like, oh man, I want to play this game for, uh, for the stream or for, for a Let's Play or something. But then uh, I play too much of it and I get kind of sick. Like I get fucking bored of the game that I'm playing and I'm like, I physically can't play this now. Great. Go me. Um, and that, uh, that bums me out. Because I don't want to, like... I enjoy playing them, but I also enjoy having them to Let's Play, and that's nice. Um, currently working on a... Pre-play of a game, I guess? It's a game where I actually want to do the, the Let's Play New Game Plus, so I have to do it since I don't have a save file on this PC. God, this game looks so fucking good. Um... And when ODSD came out, I was like, oh, fuck, I want to play it. But I also don't want to ruin it for the LP. But I also want to play it. Uh, and I don't want to pre-play it, so... Why not just... Keep these fucking files on my computer for a couple of months? Or have the video ready to go several months in advance? So, here we are. See, so yeah, this is a very, very different Halo game. It's open world to an extent. I'm just kind of wandering around here, like, looking at things, exploring. They haven't given me, like, 50 enemies to shoot at. I, I fought three guys. And two of them were grunts. Oh, wait, maybe there were three grunts. Um, so for more background, uh, as I mentioned, this does take place after uh, Halo 2, but before Halo 3. And uh, that's important because it's why there are no elites in this game. Normally, uh, elites would be your pants crapping, oh shit, it's one of those guys moments from a Halo game. But in this, that is entirely taken on by brutes. And I like that. There's no Spartans, and there's also no elites. So like that big iconic image of like, ooh, of, of a fucking Spartan fighting an elite, that just doesn't happen here. It's just these two. And that's it, and that's kind of awesome. Sorry, it's virtual scaring me. So, um, as you may have noticed, oh, they've already seen me. Great. As you may have noticed, uh, I don't have much in the way of regenerating health, which I actually much prefer. Come on, shoot the gun. Oh, there we go. F is grenades. Okay. So yeah, um, in terms of health and damage, thank you. Um, you don't have the shield that Chief has. You instead just take damage and have to find health packs to get it up or return it. You know, get it back up. This leads to some weird things, because Halo um, 3 in particular, but the previous Halo games, were extremely well-balanced. 
they're all tuned for those guns and those maps and those levels and that health and that player. And it's why playing with things like, even things like jump height can really screw with game balance. Get out of my planet, says this graffiti. Um, because the games are very, very well made and very finely tuned to ensure that, like, the challenge is very, very carefully handled. Here's some more guys. Weird how those... Actually, I won't get into that yet. Um, because I'm currently on a tangent. However, this leads to some weird things, like, um, the rookie here and the other ODSTs can actually survive things that would kill Chief in one hit. Um, on certain difficulties, a headshot from certain snipers will kill you in one hit in the other games. In this game, you have the ability to tank the hit. And the reason for that is because, well, Chief has 100 hit points that regenerate. So, you know, you take 50 and then heal it back, then take 50 and heal that back, and you can keep doing that. The rookie just has 200 hit points. Now, that actually isn't an accurate number. I don't know the exact value of... How much? What the hell is this? Is the bathroom scale? I don't know the actual like factor of how much it's changed. However, in uh, this game, there's a lot of things where the rookie can take damage that would kill Chief but won't kill him. And it's kind of weird because it means that technically the rookie is stronger and cooler than Chief. Okay. I love how I was like, hmm, do I have my visor on here? And I turn it on. Great. So the visor is something that came out before. So this game came out right before Halo Reach. Not right before, but pretty before. I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. Sorry, it has been a good 10-ish years since I played this game. Maybe not 10. Maybe only like seven years. Route closed, use alternate. Alternate. Um, for those of you who have watched this far and haven't clicked away, congratulations. And I want to warn everyone that this is going to be a much slower LP than your average Halo game. Mostly because this is a much slower game than your average Halo game. Oh, look at that. There's spikes stuck in the wall. I assume that's from the brute weapon known as the Spiker. Oop, we got fools. Come on, look over here. I really like seeing these dudes like this. It feels like it feels like they're a little they're a little group, you know? Like, you got your brute officer being a commander and all. And he has his three grunts. And they work for him. Sorry, I'm pretty sure I keep fucking bumping this fucking microphone with my face. It's very close to my face, and I've, uh... There we go. Ooh, pinpoint. What do you need? This is for you. This is for you, huh? You will die in pain. Nope. Hmm. Everything, huh? Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. Actually. How long have I been recording? That's a good first episode. Um, so yeah, I wanted to tell everyone this is going to be a very, very slow, chill LP. And if that's the kind of thing you like, feel free. You know, put this on in the background. Chill out. Have fun. Have a good time. Uh, if not, feel free to click away. But um, I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 3 ODST, even though it should be Halo 2. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking in. Bye. Bye.